If you want to generate AI videos like this or images with insane detail like this or if you want to use custom workflows for the WAN 2.1 or Hanyuan models, these workflows require really high-end GPUs like an RTX 4090 or even better an A100. If you don't have enough compute available on your local machine, it's gonna be uh, impossible to run these models locally on your machine. That's why we're gonna explore Runport today. Now Runport is an on-demand cloud GPU service which lets you rent uh, cloud GPUs for really cheap. So you can run models like WAN 2.1 or Hanyuan video for really cheap online using cloud compute. In this video, I'm going to teach you step by step on how to set up Runport, how to set up Comfy UI inside Runport, and then we're going to run some custom Comfy UI workflows in the Runport. So first up, you're going to want to come to this website, Runport.io. You can, if you don't have an account, you can click on sign up over here. Here you can just continue with Google or you can enter your email address and you can click on continue. Now it will ask you to verify your email. The process is really simple. I already have an account on Runport. So we're going to go to that account. Now once you sign in and you log into your Runport account, you're going to arrive at this screen over here. Now if we go to ports and we click on deploy, we can see there are a lot of GPUs available for us to rent. But in order to rent these, we need some credits in our Runport account. For example, this RTX 4090 over here is $0.69 per hour. So for every hour you're using this GPU, you will be charged this amount of money. So we need to add some credits for this. So you're gonna wanna click on this over here. And here you can add credits. We have some default options like $25, $50 and $100 or you can add manual over here. I think the minimum you can add is uh, $10. Yes, the minimum uh, transaction is $10. So you can uh, go to 10 or 15 or however much compute you're willing to use on Runport. Once you've entered that, you can uh, pay it using your credit or debit card or you can also use cryptocurrency to pay over here. If you don't have a payment option added into your Runport account, you can simply add that by clicking over here and here you can add your card. Once we have some credits here in our Runport account, we can deploy a GPU on demand. So we can deploy whichever GPU we want. So we have a few different options. Uh, generally in community cloud, the prices are gonna be uh, cheaper. But if you want more privacy with your data, I would recommend uh, going with Secure Cloud. Also, if you want to use Comfy UI for long term and if you're planning to save the workflows and data you're generating using these GPUs, I would recommend you to set up a network volume. Now the network volume will be an online storage for us. It will cost us uh, some amount uh, per month to keep that storage intact. So every time we log out of our pod, our data is securely stored here on the server. I'm going to create a network volume and uh, there are different uh, data centers available and you can also check which machines are available for each data center. For example, if you want an RTX, uh, let's say 4090, we're going to see it's available here on this server. Okay, so you can specify a name for your online volume and how much storage you want. In my case, I've uh, added 100 GBs. You can see over here that network volumes up to one terabyte are charged at 0.07 per GB per month. So for 100 GBs, we're going to be charged $7 per month. Next up, I'm going to click on create and it should set up our network volume. So this is the network volume we have. We're going to click on this and here you can see these are all the machines available in this region. Now, if we use any of these machines and for one to two hours and after that we terminate the port, all of our data is going to be safely secured in this network volume. Also, another thing to keep in mind, if you want to change the region of your network volume, if you want to set up a different network volume later on, you're going to have to manually copy the data from one volume to the other. It does not do that automatically. If you delete this volume later on, all of this data is going to be removed. So just keep that in mind. Once we have set up our uh, safe network volume, it's going to appear over here in storage. So this is the network volume we just created. We're going to click on deploy. We're going to select a GPU. I'm going to go with RTX 4090. I'm going to click on on demand and here we need to change the template. So we're going to change the template to so we're going to choose this template over here, Comfy UI with Manager Install Permanent Disk. So we're going to click on this and we're going to click on Deploy On Demand. We can also name our port over here and you can select how many GPUs you want per port. We're going to go with one only. 
we don't need too many we're gonna click on deploy and now it's setting up our comfy UI inside of our network volume now the first time around this will take uh, some time that's because it's installing comfy UI all its dependencies and Ma comfy UI manager too you can click on logs over here and you can see the progress of how it's installing everything you can follow along these logs if you want to otherwise this is going to take some time basically what it's doing is it's running a custom script which is uh, installing comfy UI for us inside of our network volume and then it's running a custom script to install the comfy UI manager as well this only happens once so once it has set up everything inside our network volume the next time you launch the port you will not have to wait as much okay so now as you can see over here the script has done running and it says the port is ready to use we're gonna click on close over here you need to click on connect and first up uh, you can see the Jupyter lab over here says it's ready and it's on port 8888 we're gonna click on this I'm gonna uh, show you in a second how you can use Jupyter lab how you can install custom models and run comfy UI workflows over here okay so this is our Jupyter lab interface here in the workspace directory you can see we have the comfy UI installed over here now all of your custom nodes models scripts outputs everything will be over here so for example if you need to install custom nodes you will need to go to this custom nodes directory over here you will need to navigate to that directory using terminal I will show you in a second how you can do that and then you will be able to install custom nodes over here we're gonna do the same with models also but first up we're gonna run comfy UI and we're gonna see if it was installed properly or not so for that we're gonna click on terminal over here and we're gonna see which directory we are in right now so here as you can see we are here in comfy UI directory we need to go one step back to the workspace directory so for that we need to type change directory and then double dot then we're gonna go back to the workspace directory so essentially we'll be here in this folder now to run comfy UI we're gonna click on dot slash we're gonna run it using GPU so we're gonna run this script over here we're gonna click on enter and this will start our comfy UI so every time you need to start comfy UI here in using Jupyter lab you need to uh, go to this workspace directory over here and you need to execute this file over here and you can do that by simply writing dot slash run GPU dot shell now we're gonna wait for uh, some time it's gonna load up comfy UI it's not a long process it's gonna do that here in a few seconds as you can see we also installed comfy UI manager so in custom nodes the comfy UI manager was also pulled up when we were launching comfy UI so it means the manager was successfully installed now as you can see comfy UI has started and you can access the web UI by going to this port or you can simply go back to your run port and as you can see it sh now shows ready over here as well we're gonna click on this and it should load up our comfy UI okay so as you can see comfy UI has started over here we're gonna go with simple image generation over here so we have the basic workflow over here now as you can see because this was a fresh installation so we were lacking a few models you don't want to download it by clicking over here it will download this to your PC, local PC we don't want to do that I'm gonna show where you can download this from so th because this is a fresh install we're missing the model required for this custom workflow to run we need this model so you you're gonna wanna go to comfy UI manager and uh, model manager and here you can uh, search the model so you can see it was this model over here we're simply gonna click on install and it should install this model for us uh, you can see the progress down over here and you can also see the progress here in Jupyter lab as well once the model is installed you can simply close this and you can uh, click on edit and refresh node definitions so it should detect the model now you can select the model and now we're simply going to click on run and see if comfy UI is able to generate the image or not while it's running you will be able to see the progress uh, now it's loading the model onto the VRAM and you will be able to see the progress here in Jupyter lab as well as you can see it has been generated so let's go back to comfy UI here we have our image as well so this means comfy UI is ready to go everything is perfectly set up 
now I'm going to show you how you can repeatedly use this port because for every hour you're using this port you're going to be charged an amount so once you're done using comfy UI you need to terminate the port for that you need to come back over here and you need to click on this icon and click on terminate and click on yes now as you can see we don't have any port over here but because we selected a storage for the comfy UI we should have all of our data secured over here so when you need to run it again you can simply deploy another GPU you are gonna click on this one make sure the template is right and we're gonna click on deploy on demand now it should not take uh, that much long uh, like it took the first time around because everything is already set up inside our network volume okay as you can see it pretty much deployed instantaneously now once again we need to click on the connect button and we will go to Jupyter lab and we, we will see if the uh, workflow we set up previously is there or not so we're here inside our Jupyter lab and we're gonna go to comfy UI directory and we're gonna go to the outputs folder and we're gonna see if the image we generated was there or not and as you can see the image we generated previously is indeed there now if we go back and if we launch comfy UI the model we install will also be there let's click on terminal and now I'm gonna run comfy UI once again by running the script exactly the same way we did before okay once comfy UI is ready we're gonna go ahead and launch it and we're gonna run the workflow once again and see if the model we downloaded was there or not Okay, so this is the workflow and once once again you can see over here the model we downloaded is indeed here. Okay, so once all of that is set up, I'm going to show you how you can run custom workflows here. So we're on the latest version of Comfy UI and here you can see we have the options to run as many workflows as we want. And we can also save these workflows as well. I'm going to show you how we can do that. We're going to open a new window over here and then I'm going to drag and drop a workflow over here. So as you can see, it has given an, uh, a small error that it's missing a lot of nodes in order to fix that we're gonna go to the comfy UI manager we're gonna click on install missing custom nodes and it's gonna show all the nodes that were missing I'm gonna select all of these and then I'm gonna click on install you need to select all of these and you're gonna wanna install these and once that is done we need to restart comfy UI Okay, so as you can see, all those nodes have been installed. Now we're gonna restart Comfy UI. You can simply click over here and click on confirm. Once Comfy UI will be restarted, all of these nodes should be installed. In order to check the progress, you can go to Jupyter Lab over here, and here you can see Comfy UI is reloading over here. So once it's reloaded over here, we should be able to go back and check for the missing nodes. Comfy UI has been restarted. Let's head back and we're gonna refresh the page click on confirm and as you can see all the issues regarding custom nodes have been fixed now in order to save this workflow you can click on command s or control s if you're on windows and you can write a name for this workflow and then you can click confirm and once you have saved the workflow you can simply close this and you should be able to this is the default workflow you should be able to access that workflow from this folder over here you can drag and drop it over here and this is our workflow I'm gonna upload two images over here okay so I've uploaded two images over here but this this workflow will not work because we haven't installed the models yet it should show us an error over here so we need these four models in order to run this workflow now I'm gonna teach you how you can install these models so first up we're gonna deal with this diffusion model so it needs this flux fill fp8 uh, underscore v10 save tensor file over here and we need to put this model in uh, if we go to Jupyter lab we're gonna go to comfy ui models and diffusion models we need to download that file or model over here I'm gonna show you how you can do that using this terminal in order to download that I have this uh, file over here so if you simply click on download it will download it into your local machine which which we don't want to do we're gonna right click on this one and we're gonna copy link address from here then we're gonna head back to uh, this Jupyter lab over here we're gonna open up a new terminal window now because because we are here in this diffusion models folder the terminal opened up in the diffusion models directory and if we need to install it over here let's assume we were in a different directory so we're, I'm gonna go back a couple of directories 
So in order to move forward in a directory, you simply need cd change directory and then the directory you need to go into. We're in comfy UI, we need to go into models directory and then in diffusion models directory. So I'm gonna write cd models slash diffusion models and I'm gonna click on enter and now once again we are in the current directory. We need to download the model over here. To download the model, we need to write wget and then we need to paste the link that we just copied from here. We're gonna remove the last part from here. We need only the dot safe tensors name over here. Then we're gonna click on enter and it should start uh, downloading the model from that website. As you can see, we have an estimated uh, time over here as well, how long it will take for us to download this model. And after that, the rest of the models we need to download the process is pretty much the same. I'm gonna also download this model using terminal. Then these two models should be available here in the model manager. We're gonna download those from here. So first up, I'm gonna download this one. So we need to search for this on the internet. So as you can see, we have this file over here. We need to once again right click and copy the link address and then we'll head back to Jupyter Lab. Now this model we need to place it in uh, models folder under LoRa directory over here. So we will open up a new terminal and uh, now we are in models we need to go into this LoRa's directory. So I will write cd LoRa's and then I'll write wget and I will paste the link over here. I will remove the last part so it's only dot save tensors and then I'm gonna click on enter and it's downloading this file over here. So this file has been downloaded. We're gonna wait for this file to be downloaded over here and then we will continue with the workflow. Okay, so now two of our models have been downloaded. We need to download the remaining two. First up, we're gonna uh, go back over here. We're gonna click on refresh node definitions and we should be able to see the file we just downloaded over here. So we've got two of the models over here. This one was in the diffusion models folder and this one was in the LoRa's folder. Now we need these two models, this t 5 xl one and this ae.safe tensor. So we're gonna go to manager and we're gonna go to model manager. I'm gonna search for ae.safe tensor file from here. We're going to download this one and once that's downloaded we need to download the other one. We're going to just write the name over here and we need to download this one as well and let's wait for it to install. Once again we can see the progress down here or we can go to uh, Jupyter Lab and here we can see the progress of the model downloading. The model manager automatically places these models in their right directory so we only need to refresh this page over here so we're gonna click on refresh we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna refresh node definitions and after that we should be able to see these models over here as well. Now everything should be good to go we're gonna click on run and let's see if any other errors pop up. So once again, we don't have the clip L safe tensor file over here. So we're going to download this from the model manager as well. I'm going to go to manager, model manager. Once again, click on edit, refresh node definitions, and we should be able to see uh, the clip L safe tensor file over here. Now everything should be good to go. We're going to click on run and then we're going to click wait for this model to replace the face and the workflow has done running. You can see the face swap has been successful over here. Now once everything is set up and ready, if once you're done uh, working with Comfy UI, uh, you need to go back over here and you need to go to your ports. So you can see we have one port running over here which is the one we're working on. So you need to click on terminate so that you're not charged while you're not working on this uh, workflow. Now once you have terminated this board over here you can simply close the other tabs. So you can just close these uh, tabs over here. Now when you need to work on Comfy UI again you can come to storage, you can select your network volume and click on deploy and you can deploy any of these machines on demand. So that was it for this video. If you need any help uh, you can ask me in the comment section down below. I hope this was useful and see you in the next one.